In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix an issue that might arise from Leica Captivate in exporting your points. If you've been using Captivate for a while, you'll realize that we store every observation. We group those observations in point classifications, starting from single measurement to average, where we take multiple measurements and average them together, to a reference class where we, we use for instrument setups, to adjusted, and then to control. You do have the ability to display all of these point classifications in Leica Captivate and to export all classifications. But typically we want to export just the highest point classification for each point. Our typical settings in Captivate to export the highest point classifications would be this. So we go to our job, go to export data, go to ASCII, we would press function and then filter and sort and set our sort by. I normally use point ID ascending and my filter to show to highest class only. When I do this, I'll press OK and the file has been exported. Let's pull that up so you can see it. And you'll notice that we have, even though we had multiple measurements for point number 20 and 21, that we have a single observation, which is the average observation for this measurement. There is, however, an issue that ar can arise when we go to export a range of point IDs when we have multiple measurements on a point. So I'll show you how to resolve that situation. Occasionally, we need to export a range of point IDs. So we'll go to our export screen again and set our filter to show to a range of point IDs. Then we will select the points that we need to export. Once we've set that up, we'll press OK. I've already exported this a couple of times, so I'll show you this file, and you'll notice now that I have multiple exports. To correct this problem, we need to change a filter setting one time in Captivate. So we'll go back to our ASCII export, and we will go to our filter. We will set the filter to show to certain point classes only. And then once you have that set, you need to scroll all the way to the bottom, and you'll see that the setting will be set to all triplets. We need to change that to the highest triplet. Press OK. And then we can come back into our export again. Press Function Filter. Set this to range of point IDs. Set our point range to export and press OK. Press OK again. And the issue should be corrected. Here's the export file that we just created. And you'll notice now that we do have single points. These are our average values for the, the points collected. 